hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to open any web page dynamically in Windows application using web browser control and here we got the final output now entering the URL gmail.com click go And notice in this Windows Forms application, I have opened the Gmail web page. Now let's add the next website, yahoo.com. Go. And here the Yahoo website is open on the web browser. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the Windows templates, I am selecting Windows Forms application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is Open Web Page Dynamically. Click OK. And here we got the form one design page. Let me expand this form one design page. Now in this form one design page, the first control I'm adding the text box control to enter the URL. Open toolbox. I'm entering the, uh, the text box control. Here it is the text box control. Let's drag up to here. And next I'm adding a label control toolbox. A label control. Press F4. I'm changing the label text. Enter URL. After that I'm adding a button control open toolbox. The button control. I'm changing the button label to go and the last control I'm adding the web browser control open toolbox come to the bottom and here is the web browser add that one That's it, we have done the designing part. Now double click the button control. Now in this button click event, I'm at string enter URL is equals to we are entering the URL in a text box control. So I'm adding the text box ID which is a text box one dot text property. After that, the enter URL of the web page I want to display on the web browser which I have added on the form design web browser one dot navigate method and this navigate method takes a parameter is a string URL string so here the string URL enter URL the object name now again the switch back to the design mode highlight the web browser press F4 it will open the web browser properties notice the fourth option is the events click that one I'm adding the navigating now in this navigating event I want to display the web page URL on the top this dot text property is equals to e dot url dot to string method that's it we have done the complete coding part now let's check the results start and here we got the final output now entering the url gmail.com click go and notice in this windows forms application i have opened the gmail web page 
Now let's add the next website yahoo.com. Go and here the Yahoo website is open on the web browser. That's it. We have written a code in Windows application to open any website using web browser control. 